Hey, what's good YouTube fam? So again, thank you for the love and support on the last video. Uh, this one's gonna be a short video, but this one's gonna focus on you guys in the comment section the most. What are you looking forward to in 2024 for Dokkan Battle in terms of unit watts? Every year we all have this sort of thing where we always look for the next year and we're like, oh, this is gonna be this, this is gonna check this off and stuff like that. And this, this year we already know at the end of it what we're getting, except for maybe like one banner, it might be a surprise sort of thing. But with everything going forward for Dokkan Battle in terms of like mergers and stuff like that that's going to be happening, it's sort of a situation where now it's like things are going to change in terms of summon wise because Global won't have an advantage until, well, until the sync up happens. Global won't necessarily have an advantage. But for you guys in terms of units and stuff like that, because we've seen Dokkan doing the norm and then going outside of the norm, giving us, you know, characters and stuff like that, that are kind of like, mm, okay, interesting. Like we've got a Broly and a Trunks card together. And it's like, okay, you know, like we're, we're doing stuff like that now. It's like some of the wacky ideas that maybe you probably had like in the past could possibly have a very good shot at coming into light for Dokkan battle in 2024. So, my thing is, again, like, what are you looking forward to in terms of units from Dokkan Battle? So whatever characters and stuff, like that, even combinations and stuff like that, you may not even think even go together, but might go together. Like, might be a cool sort of idea. I'm, I'm very eager to see what this is going to turn into in the comment section below, like what you guys' creative ideas is going to be here. I'm going to stick to a one norm thing, and then I'm going to stick to maybe like some just off the topic that I haven't even thought about until now, like off topic things here in a second. So on topic of what I want in terms of the norm of the Dokkan battle does do a lot, I'm looking for the fusions. I'm looking for standalone fusions now. Like I'm I'm tired of the transforming and I'm also tired of the fusing into the said fusion. Like I'm tired of doing that now. And especially for Gogetas and obviously Vegitos, it's like we still don't have the standalone. Like I mean just standalones of like Super Vegeta, Super Saiyan uh, Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and then the blue uh, voids as well. We still don't have the blue versions standalones. Except for Vegito, that's a free-to-play card, not not something. We still don't have Gotenks. I'm still sort of like always looking around like, hey, where's Gotenks at? Like, wh wh why have we stopped like anything with Gotenks? Like, I still want to see an LR Dokenfest of Gotenks at some point in time. So hopefully that does happen, you know, next year. If it does happen, that's going to be absolutely insane for me. That's going to be very, very, very great for me. I'm pretty sure people are still probably going to say, I would say probably beast gohan an actual playable beast gohan and then maybe like another orange piccolo probably the gammas as lrs maybe a combination card stuff like that and even sell max i'm gonna say that sort of thing so it's probably like for the norm stuff and then maybe like the slightly out of the norm sort of things so maybe like zarbon maybe a zarbon and dory or maybe a zarbon and thouser Doken Fest card, combination card, that would be sort of cool. The norm sort of thing, and then also the un uh, out of the norm that they necessarily are doing currently right now in Dokkan Battle, which is pretty awesome. And like I said, for the ninth year anniversary, I kind of would like it to be sort of out of the norm, not the norm, because I but I know the Nightmare they're going to definitely play it safe and do norm stuff. So I don't know, you guys, let me know in the comment section below how you guys are feeling in terms of like the units that you want to personally see in 2024. Because like I said, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to have like some crazy combinations that's going to be popping off in there. And I'm going to be like, damn, you know, I didn't even think about that one. And I'm pretty sure Omatsu, I don't know where he's at right now, probably somewhere fucking up Dokkan as we speak. And everyone's wanting, everyone's wanting Koto back already. We miss you, Koto. We miss you. But anyway. Let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel and what you guys are thinking for your norm and out of the norm sort of units that you want to see in 2024. But other than that, stay safe, God bless, and I'm out. Peace.